friends, hackers, red teamers, lend me your exploits, for I have come to hack easy boxes today on Cyber Mentoring Monday. I hope everyone is doing well. I definitely hope you can hear me. Looks like it. How is everyone doing? How was everyone's weekend? Hopefully good. Let's get Stream Raiders set up. Any audio issues so far? I see some people in chat. There we go. Christy! Hello, Christy. Hello, Basil. Basil Wee? Basil? Tell me how you pronounce that. Uh, little DD123. Ghosts are spooky. Welcome, welcome. Um, so for those just joining us who've never joined the stream before, uh, if you are there, today we do beginner content, easy boxes, usually try hack me and um, hack the box. Uh, we'll probably do a bit of both today, I think. We haven't done a hack the box in a while. Uh, so yeah. We also do Stream Raiders, which is a game that's kind of funky, but you just have to have a Twitch account. Um, so if you click the link that was just pasted by the stream captain bot, you can play. It kind of like takes us a, gives us a break between between the things every half an hour. I also want to try a new game, which is called Marbles on the stream, um, which is kind of like it's kind of like a zero player game like Stream Raiders where you don't control anything. Uh, but instead you you each get a marble and race it. I don't know. We'll, we'll try it. We'll see what happens. Um, but yeah, let's get started. Firstly, I wanted to, to get started with something uh, that I found on Twitter over the weekend, which uh, let me switch to my screen. Hopefully that's the right one. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so um, Joe Helly, uh, the mayor, for those of you, those of you who don't know him, um, posted this on Twitter, and it's just it's a so it's Indeed.com. It's a job posting <coughs> for this firm called Penn Consultants LLC, and I thought we'd go through it because it's it's just really really awful. Like I don't understand why anyone works for this company. Um, so let's let's read down firstly okay this is for an experienced offensive security tester pen testing red teaming etc and the salary is twenty twenty dollars to seventy dollars an hour um okay i mean what is seventy dollars an hour in is there like a wage to yearly salary calculator There we go. All right, so let's do let's do twenty dollars an hour. Firstly, uh, sure, we'll we'll do that. Um, okay, so that's <laughs> this is if you work all fifty two weeks of the year. By the way, um, that would be forty one thousand six hundred dollars. Um, yeah, for. <laughs> experienced um, so if we, if we do 70 where are we slightly better $145,600 so that's that's actually okay right you, you'd think anyway um, but let's read on <laughs> so it has full-time part-time contract excellent excellent uh, working for Penn Consultants offers great flexibility and an opportunity to work in an environment where God comes first. Okay. Family second and work third in everything we do. Uh, and you'll see that this, this bit, work third, no. <laughs> it really doesn't. Um, if you've grown tired of having to check your faith at the door, which I, I don't believe for one instant is a problem. 
I've, I've worked with numerous people and um, who and we've all had discussions about this kind of stuff um, so please tell me which companies <laughs> which companies you have to check your faith at the door for um, or have to sacrifice your time time with your family to meet unreasonable deadlines you've come to the right place okay this is good this sounds all right uh, blow some of the general work detail general job details okay um, so this, this bit's okay. This is just the overview of the job description. Um, and then we go down to what we are looking for. Um, again, most of this is, is okay. Um, <coughs> where, is, where does it get weird again? So again, programming knowledge, IT knowledge, excellent. Um, da, 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 da. Oh yeah, so in addition to act, oh, sorry, you'll have need to have this knowledge coming in in addition to actual penetration testing and red team experience. So speaking about experience here, uh, note the following does not qualify as pen testing slash red teaming experience. Bug bounty, which, I mean, it does. It's not the same as pen testing and red teaming, but it, it definitely counts as experience. Vulnerability scanning and management, I agree with that. Compliance auditing, yes. CTFs, no. I mean, there's some experience there. Um, hack the box type environments, again. College degrees, sure, but still, that's that's kind of experience. <coughs> uh, certifications, I mean, it depends on the cert, right? I actually will go into this a bit later. Um, tools, fine. Um, right, yeah, okay, now we get into more details. Here's the real red flag. Status. All testing consultants start out working under a 1099 relationship. Let me zoom in, actually, because maybe you can't see this. Um, <laughs> for those of you who are not in the U.S., and perhaps for some of you in the U.S., um, a 1099 relationship is effectively a contractor which means that you aren't an employee. Um, so this, this, cr this crap here is just wrong. You're, you're gonna be this, always. Uh, it effectively means you are self-employed. Uh, <laughs> you, you, you're not an employee of this company, even though they're pretending you are, I guess. Um, which provides all parties the most flexibility in matching testers to engagements. No, it doesn't. This is just nonsense. Um, additionally, it allows our consultants to hold other employment if they so choose. <laughs> um, I mean, but you're, you're also saying it's a 40 hour a week thing. So, okay, sure. You choose your engagement. Each client engagement will be offered to consultants with the appropriate skill set in a round robin type fashion. So, it's just, it's just, it just seems weird. Flexible hours, you set your own hours. Okay, that's, I mean, to be honest, that's quite usual for testing companies these days. Caveat, these are often client-imposed deadlines, sure. All work is remote, great. Once per year, we fly everyone into HQ for a weekend of face-to-face -face fellowship. Um, they use this word fellowship instead of, you know, an annual meeting. I think I think this is gonna have highly religious connotations. <laughs> uh, pay we pay up to 145k a year. Yeah, I mean we did see that. Okay, um, with an option for overtime. Compensation is per engagement, paid as a percentage of the contracted client cost. <laughs> this line is hilarious because if you go to their website. One of the reasons that they um, advertise, them, well, one of the reasons they advertise to clients is that they are one of the cheapest in the industry. Um, so <laughs> you get generally this cost of services page. All newly hired testers, all, all newly hired testers without experience will start out at 5% compensation, <laughs> which is $20 an hour. I'm sorry, but no, no junior. Even if you're a junior, you you don't start at twenty dollars an hour. We've seen that. Um, they're required to prove themselves to move up. Uh, someone coming with a few years of experience can expect that conversation to drop higher. Good. In all cases, there's potential 
for compensation increase after each engagement and be uh, be to 20 percent 70 dollars an hour does anyone does anyone see the problem here the 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 initial problem um i'll just i'll just read again five percent compensation is 20 dollars an hour 20 percent is 70 dollars an hour now my math might be wrong but if you get five percent to twenty percent you times it by four and you times 20 by 4, you don't get 70. <laughs> um, so they're already um, they're already reducing your pay right here. Um, okay, where where is it? It keeps going. Um, bonuses. Once per year, we take a percentage of the profits and distribute it proportionally among all team members based on hours worked for the year. Um, okay, except for this word, profits. Um, because you could, <laughs> you can easily make it so that the profits are extremely low, <laughs> if you know what you're doing. Uh, Google Hollywood accounting to see, to see how that's done. Benefits though, this is, this is where the whole 1099 thing is. You're not an employee, so they do not offer benefits. We offer no traditional benefits. I mean, they could just remove the word traditional. They don't offer any benefits. Healthcare, retirement, etc. And that's a great thing for you. <laughs> if you don't already understand this, you need to realize that for every take it or leave it benefit you're offered by a traditional employer, they reduce your compensation, whether you take the benefits or not. We believe in giving you your total compensation and giving you freedom to choose which benefits you wish to pay for, which you don't, which providers may best represent your values, etc. Some of this is kind of true, except it's it's extremely it's it's way more complicated than that. Um, and also, if you if you work for a company, yeah, you still pay for healthcare, but you get it at a massively discounted rate, uh, and that's due to the fact that the company has more bargaining power than you as an individual. Um, also, the retirement, yeah, a lot of companies will offer a 401k. Um, they don't exactly offer that as cost to you. Usually, in fact, they'll give you a match. So they'll, whatever you contribute, they'll match up to a certain percentage. So um, I'm pretty sure that offsets. Uh, but yeah. Missions, the stated, we're a biblically centered and family focused, com family -focused company. As such, we're in the early stages of launching a company-sponsored missions program, in which we will organize and pay for missions trips for consultants and their families. So I guess that's fun. Because um, I, I presume if you don't actually want to go on a mission, you could just call it a mission and just go on vacation. Um, it should be, I guess, okay. Team devotionals. Once a month, you'll have the opportunity to join the entire team via Zoom for a one-hour devotional. Okay, I'll, I'll skip that. Gar7 rating. Thank you, my friend. Party of 25. Uh, we're just going over this extremely fun, <laughs> extremely fun um, job listing, which is not for employment. It's for um, a contract position. Um, Gar, thank you for the subscription, my friend. Uh, Taxing status. Unlike traditional W-2 employment, your 1099 taxing status may enable you to reduce your income by claiming business expenses. So this is true. What they don't tell you is that um, you also have to place, pay self-employment taxes on top of your income taxes. I know this because I am technically self-employed as well as being employed because of my Udemy stuff. Um, and so I have to pay additional um, taxes on top of income taxes for my Udemy income um, and that those taxes are usually paid by your company uh, so because you're self-employed you're technically your own employee but that means you're also your own company so you pay the company taxes and the employee taxes um, cover costs although a consultant must provide their own computer systems <laughs> okay so, 
Uh, just subscribe. C. Edwards, 1989. Thank you very much for subscribing. Um, yeah, so you have to provide your own computer systems. Pen consultants cover all of the costs, including testing software. That's nice. Special hardware, blah, blah, blah. But still, you don't have to pro you shouldn't have to provide your own testing software, uh, testing computer system. Um, blah, 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 all this stuff. Um, yeah, so this is all kind of just weird. Um, speaking of the computer system, if you go to their application questionnaire, screening questions, um, here, uh, what does it say here? Here we go. Do you currently have or the ability to require, acquire the following computer system specifications? 64 plus gigabytes of RAM, 16 plus core slash thread processor, SSD, FDE, network isolation from your family network. Yeah, those are the minimum specs. I don't know about you, but the, like 64 gigs, what are you doing with 64 gigs of RAM? I don't even have 64 gigs of RAM in my PC. 16 plus core, okay. I mean, yeah, but still, this is an extremely expensive system. Plus network isolation from your family environment. So family network. So you can't just use your own Wi-Fi, which is basically what everyone else does. Um, you have to actually customize your network and be on a separate network. Um, oh yeah, and the icing on the cake. So you remember that question about experience and how um, bug bounty, CTFs, hack the box, college degrees, certifications do not qualify as penetration testing or red team experience for this position, right? They then throw that out the window and say, do you have the PN PNPT certification? So <laughs> they're saying that certifications don't count. And then they're asking if you've got this one. <laughs> Which is like, what? Um, and the final thing we'll go over before we move on. How many programming languages have you coded in something more complex than a hello world? Well, clearly the person who coded this didn't code much HTML because if you see, this is an input box with a zero in it. Uh, if you click up, it adds one, uh, but you can click down. <laughs> so <laughs> they don't they even know how to put a freaking limit on the, uh, the input box there. But uh, yeah, I thought that was a... A fun thing, avoid this company. <laughs> I don't, I really don't understand how anyone works for these people. They're hiring three candidates, by the way. <laughs> oh boy. Um, and yeah. They have, they have got some people working for them. The poor people. But uh, yeah. Oh well. Moving on. Let's see. Um, I think what we'll do is we'll start out with Hack the Box and then we'll move on to Try Hack Me. I think that's probably a better way to do it. Uh, okay, let's go to the labs, machines, uh, retired machines. All right, we're gonna set the difficulty to easy. Um, can I set incomplete? There we go. We don't want to do stuff I've done before. Um, ooh, good games has a four point nine. Okay. Um, let me just. Let's get a thing up on the right. Okay, good games. Any any suggestions, by the way? I think we'll add good games just because it's got a 4.9 and maybe Steam Cloud. It's nice when they have a rating that's almost five. Um, nunchucks.
Antique actually looks easy. Apparently. When was Antique released? Oh, okay, last year. Malicus Maximus, thank you very much for the gift sub to Angel D. Uh, let's add Antique, because it looks like it is actually potentially easy. These, these two up here look like they're kind of into the medium. Um, and... Should we do Explore? Sure. All right. We'll do those four in a poll. Um, bearing in mind, explore and antique look the easiest. So if you are after easy content, which box? Uh, okay, good games. These are retired, right? I'm just making sure. I th I'm pretty sure these are retired. <laughs> Steam Cloud, antique and explore. All right, two minutes on the poll. What about a Windows option? Um, maybe we'll do a Windows on um, Trey Hackman. The problem is there don't seem to be too many Windows boxes on here anyway. I tell you what, if we, if we complete one of these in sufficient time. We'll we'll try a Windows box next, whether it's on Try Hack Me or Hack the Box. We'll do that. Stream Raiders. It should be. Um, hang on. It should be up. There's eight minutes to go on Stream Raiders. <laughs> All right. Looks like Good Games is winning so far. We should actually put my guy into battle. There we go. All right, I'm going to connect to hack the box. Okay, I'm going to say good games is winning quite. Right, it's got quite a substantial lead, so we will start this machine. Uh, and the first thing we'll do... Go and hack the box. Good games. It did indeed win. Alright, we'll add it. We'll add whatever IP we get to our hosts file with goodgames.hackthebox. Um, okay, yeah. Alright, um, what is in my config file actually? No, we're not going to use GoBus though. And we. You know what? We'll, we'll set the number of threads to 25. Five, so it doesn't kill everything. But otherwise, we'll do that. There we go. We will wait a little bit for the box to spin up. But in the meantime, cannot ping it. Which might be fine. <laughs> okay, now we can ping it. 
All right. I'll leave it another minute, just in case. Um, <laughs> okay, did it get retired really quickly? Because it was only released a month ago. <laughs> Is that kind of weird? I would have thought so. Let's scan it. Um, good games, hack the box. Yeah. Yeah, the I. Well, the I think just might be weird because I'm using a private network. I'm not sure. Okay, let's open Atom and read some of the. Stuff. Like the box. Good games. Oh, hang on. <laughs> Alright, I'm in the wrong... Wrong folder. There we go. Okay, uh, there's no robots file. I guess that means there is a web server. It's running, it's a Python web server. Interesting. Uh, okay, we'll check that in a minute. Uh, I think. Interesting. The That's weird. Apache's report, so MMAP's reporting Apache. Why is MMAP reporting Apache? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't think it's Apache. Uh, let's just check out the IP. Uh, so I'm going to do it in burp. Okay. What? Okay. Guess that still uses my old IP address, uh, my old password. Uh, okay. So directory busting is still running, vhost enumeration is still running. Uh, so everything else is finished. I want to try and get rid of all these static stuff. This doesn't look... I wonder if I accidentally... Oh, I think, yeah, I think I set Ferox Buster to do a crawl. As well, so this is why you're seeing all the static images. These are all the images here, I think. Um, oops. Oh, hang on, whoops, that. Okay. All right, so let's scroll down and see if there's anything that's not in static. Okay, we got a forget password. I guess that's from here. Yeah. Alright, let's try... I guess signing up? Okay, so we'll do... Tiberius at... Good game, stop, hack the box. Uh, Tiberius... Password is the password. Successfully registered, okay. Boop. 
Welcome Tiberius, redirecting you to your profile page. Okay. I'm guessing we're going to have to find a version number somewhere, so let's look in the source code for something. Okay, Stream Raiders is ready, so let's do Stream Raiders. Uh, is that gonna work? Uh, nope, that's not Stream Raiders. <laughs> uh, two seconds. That's the marble game. There we go. And okay, what do we use? Let's use this one, I guess. just a game. Okay, let's go here. Start the battle. Uh, okay. <laughs> What's your technical question, just a game? I will try and answer it while scrolling down, looking for at least some kind of clue. <laughs> um. Interesting. Let's go to the, in uh, the index page and see if there's anything else. could Google good games, but I feel like that's just going to return hack the box walkthroughs, so I don't want to do that. Um, let's see if... So we found a blog. There's a coming soon page, so we'll check out the blog and we'll check out this coming soon page. Blog. Ah, uh, okay. Is there not actually a blog? I saw there was a blog slash one. Uh, okay, apparently not. So there's apparently not a blog. <laughs> okay, coming soon. Is this right yeah actually that's a good point we should probably put the title in here doing hack the box good games uh, which is supposedly an easy box however it only lasted 28 days on hack the box so it's relatively new even though it is retired I did double check that um, so it has a MailChimp sign-up form, which I don't want to submit because it actually submits to <coughs> what looks like a real thing. Um, mm. 
Okay. So coming soon didn't get anything. Log out. Presumably just logs us out. We've done the login. Server status is a 403. Um, yeah, okay. Any... No subdomains yet. So I think this is all we have so far. It was in my last uni CTF. Oh, okay. All right, let's, well, I mean, we have an account because we signed in, so let's go back and have a look at what we can do. Oh, okay, well, we did have an account. Uh, redirecting to profile page, yes, excellent. Um, date joined us now, which is kind of, I guess is kind of interesting. Oh, okay, the blog is there, it just requires authentication. Mr. Okay. Streamer! What, just a go? Why are you yelling at me? Uh, okay, what does the blog use? It doesn't look like it's WordPress. It looks like it's exactly the same. Um, but we have another username, Hitman. Um, so maybe I'll... Go into our notes, maybe. Uh, where are notes? There we go. So we'll get username Hitman. Um, let's read some of these blogs. Oh, yeah, no, when we signed in, we got the profile. So this is the profile URL. Uh, oh, hang on, we have another user, Witch Murder. Let's put that back here. Because maybe we have to brute force. And I'll what I'll do is I'll uh I'll copy where we got these from. Uh, okay. Okay. Wolfenstein. You know, I'm just gonna put usernames. Hitman, Witch Murder, which I'm guessing are just the games. Hitman, Wolfenstein, Wolfenstein, Witch Murder. Okay. Was there anything in these posts? They look kind of just like random. Does this actually do anything? The search. Uh, what did that actually do? Scroll down in burp suites. Did it actually post to anything? I'm just gonna put my cursor there. We'll do it again. And see what happens in burp. Oops. Refresh it. Test. Test. Okay. Search. Yeah, it doesn't do. It doesn't do anything. Oh, hang on. The the session cookie though. Looks. I was gonna say it looks like a, a JWT, but it. I don't think it is one because firstly it's got a dot at the start. It's got too many it's got too many periods basically. It's got three periods here, it should only have two. So this may just be 
random. And also an easy box. I mean, it is a hack the box easy box, I guess. Uh, oh, okay, we have pagination, which doesn't, uh, yeah, it doesn't work. All right, what's the store got? The store is coming soon. Um, hmm. Okay. We haven't tried any auth bypass yet. Um, well, I did kind of decode it. If you select over here, um, it will auto decode if it finds anything. But we can we can copy it and see. Go into Hackverter here. Um, like, I mean, it's not going to be base sixty four. Yeah, I mean this. What I can do, I guess, is just double click on the the segments. That doesn't decode to anything, neither does that. No, it's definitely not JWT. <laughs> JWT format is effectively um, header. Ignore the the curly braces, but header body signature so these these individual blocks are encoded in base 64 the um, padding the equal signs are all removed and then they are concatenated with periods so this looks nothing I mean okay it doesn't doesn't look nothing like it but it, it's weird that there's a dot there at the start and even if I do take the dot out um, like this isn't this would be the Sorry, this stuff. This is not a valid header. It doesn't look anything like a header. Um, to be honest, neither does any of it. Like, and even if we tried to decode it as a JWT, yeah, invalid token. So I don't know exactly. Uh. We could try basic SQL injection. Okay, and copy that to there. Please enter a valid email address. Okay. Is that going to work? No. Um, so we may have to do. Okay, well, that's interesting. 500. So if I go down here. Where was the post request? Post to oh. Okay. <laughs> this is the weird thing. So this doesn't actually give you five hundreds. It's a two hundred here, but it gives a five hundred error there. So let's try. Let's try this and just a single quote. Okay, that is something. Let's send this to repeater. Let's do two. Actually, let's do a single quote there. And just the regular password. Okay, so it looks like if it is there, it's in the password field, maybe. Ah, <coughs> uh, Tiberius. What was my. Well, yeah, we will use SQL map because. Oh no, hang on. You get a 500 even if you just use password as test. Uh, which means it's going to flag on every single thing we send to it. I take it, it only does a 
500 if we... Yeah. So if we do password 1, 500. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> yeah, it was long success because my password is password. I created this account. My password is password, so yeah, it's gonna look, it's gonna succeed when I do this. Um, but if I do password one, it gives a five hundred. All right, so it's not an SQL injection, presumably. <sighs> what is it then? No, it didn't look like it. It just gives a 500, oh no, it doesn't even give a 500. It just doesn't do that. So we do have actually, technically we have email enumeration because if I were to use, just if I just spam this right, we use test at test.com with clearly an invalid password, we get a 500. Okay, maybe we don't. Maybe we don't even have that. I think they just, they detected there's an email there. Yeah. So if I was to, if I was to make this an invalid email, weird. So how did we do? Oh, hang on, man. Ah, no. Wait a minute. If we give it one apostrophe, so the question now is, can we do URL code as we type, or one equals one, dash dash, and then put something like that. Long success. We're there. All right. So <laughs> the reason that didn't work before was because this field is protected by some probably JavaScript. <coughs> Actually, it's just type equals email. So I guess if we just do type equals text, can we then just do this? Yeah, okay. Welcome admin Tiberius, interesting. Okay, we're in. I guess we can we can technically do this. We are in. It's weird that it said admin Tiberius. Uh, what's that? It took you using well, yeah. How though? There's nothing here. Look, there's there's no session. There's no session information in this. There's no Tiberius in this. So I really. Hang on. Maybe it's maybe it's storing it in. It's not even storing it in local storage. Not weird? I think it's quite weird. <clears throat> I mean, okay, let's just try it again. Let's go completely incognito. Um, good games. Do I hack the box? At least we're making progress. This is, we're further along than we would be, <laughs> usually. All right, so clearly like, I can't, I can't put that in there because it's going to complain, but if I inspect, and this is a trick, if you change the type to just text, it will should work. Just paste it in again, yep. test, sign in. What? What's going on? Huh?
But then, when you connect, the Nick is just admin. I mean, okay, we're we're in the admin somehow, so that's at least that's good. <laughs> Okay, what can we do from admin? Here you go, there's a new thing. There's a set. Ah! Internal administration.goodgames. Hack the box. It can't. I mean, I guess it could be a caching issue, but it'd have to be server side because. Again, this this is doing something there. <laughs> you know what? I'll try actually. Before we. Before, actually, okay, well, I'm going to add internal. I'm going to add this to our host file. to ever copy copy come on copy again all right paste and then obviously take out the rubbish okay uh this might not work yeah okay so we're gonna have to we're gonna have to add it in burp suite itself Host name. Um, I had a vulnerable code challenge recently where you could log in and basically perform SQL items on the whole database at the same time. Oh, uh, yeah, so. Yeah, actually, yeah, no, you're right. That does make sense. So it's doing a select all. Yeah, no, you're right. Uh, let's do this one. So actually, you could you could uh, use that, for, presumably, as a way to enumerate the database if we really want to. Yeah, so um, it's just concatenating them all, to be honest. All right, let's see if this works now. Okay. Well. We have this. Okay. Um, I guess we could try and... Oh. So Vault is just, I guess, this... So what we'll do is we'll use um, we'll do some more analysis here. Let's use Ferox Buster again. Uh, should probably put my notes as well. So we'll take uh, this. So how do we get to this? We tried the username or one equals one dash dash blah blah blah. Uh, okay, so what we need to do now is grab that. And shove it in here. We'll just do admin. Oops. Why can't I type now? Okay, there we go. Uh, um, okay, so we, we probably don't need any of this crap because it's Python. Let's just run this and see what happens. This is just going to do some more directory busting. Uh, but this time it's going to be on this. We probably don't want... Unless directory busting on the old one found something else. Found a password reset. 
Which I guess is actually technically from the forgot password menu. Uh, let's cancel it. We can always go back to it if we need to. Okay. All right, let's test this, test, test. Wrong user or password, do we have an admin, password? Can we do this? It's probably not gonna work again, but why not? No. Yeah, so we could, <coughs> we could try and enumerate. Um, oh goodness, what's happening here? No, oh, I'm just doing something. I guess it's doing a crawl. Uh, so let's go back to... Where we did the post here. So what we can do is copy this, open up a new, uh, we're going to hack the box, good games, <laughs> sorry we won't do that, we should really at some point remove, yeah there we go, good games, exploit, login, dot, http, okay. And then I'm just going to take this out. We're just going to do email equals test, password equals test. SQL map uh, dash v3 dash r login dot php, sorry, dot http. Um, and we want the parameter to be email uh, threads equals 10. And let's just see if that finds anything. Because it shouldn't even be blind, to be, to be honest with you, because we're clearly being able to extract some information when we do... Um, when we grab this stuff. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's MySQL apparently. Uh, you know what? For now, we'll just do those two. Uh, refresh intent. Um, no. All right. Yeah, so we got a union query look. Uh, so let's see if we can uh, dash dash hh. Yeah, yeah. um, let's do the banner, I guess. Oops. <laughs> uh, no. Okay, yeah, we can extract information. And it used union, which is nice. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna split the pane. We're gonna do SQL map dash HH because I can't remember all these things. All right, banner worked. Um, we can do, we can, we can try current user. Uh, and what happens if we do apply it? It's fine, okay. So we get main admin at localhost. Uh, we're here, right? So, <laughs> current DB is useful. Uh, so actually, we just need to current DB. <laughs> Main. Okay. Uh, let's do tables. We should use the current 
db. There we go. User table. Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to do dash t users or user. Um, and then we will just do a dump, honestly. Uh, do you want to store hashes? Sure. Uh, we can try cracking them. Uh, no. But what do we get? Let me see. Correct password. Password? That's probably mine. Uh, it doesn't look like we cracked the admin, but here we go. So we have the admin's password. Uh, so I'll just copy all of this. Okay. Um, let's do a hash, hash ID. It's probably MD5. <laughs> okay, so we'll do um, login.hash. Uh, okay, John. Uh, wordless rock you. Login.hash. Oops. Probably gonna yeah, it's gonna tell us it needs to know which one it is. Uh, raw MD5 is what we need. There we go. Super administrator, I think, right? Uh, we can actually just. Let's just echo dash n into MD5 some. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so we we cracked the password super administrator pretty well. Okay, let's try this now then. Let's try admin good games super administrator. No. That would have been uh, <laughs> that'd have been too easy, wouldn't it? And there's no SSH on this box either, so it's not like we can try that. Were there any tables? Um, I could look for other databases, to be honest, because there weren't. I think the only tables there were were these blog and blog comments. <laughs> we can try blog comments, I guess. Uh, Just try admin in that password. True, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for reminding me. Ah, uh, good. All right. See? Well, that worked. Uh, okay. So again, I don't think this is. I think this is going to be. Oh, hang on, the battle's ready. So, did it remind me that the battle was ready? I don't know. Okay, we'll do the battle though. Stream radars. Ah, let's go there. You know, maybe we'll do. Maybe we'll do one. Um, one round of marbles and see how that goes. Now we look for reflections and try SSTA. I feel like you're you're giving me clues here. Okay, we did win. 
Well done, Christy, and your parasun. Um, okay. Let me see if the marbles thing's gonna work. Okay, it's not, and for some reason, all right, so hang on a minute. Copy. Remove. All right, give me, just give me one, one second. Where's game capture? Source. Uh, source and okay. All right, let's try this. Uh, okay, race. Let's just do this one. Uh, viewer. Okay, so I think you have to type exclamation point play. Yeah. If you want to play. Um, so let me try it. I've never done this before. This is going to be interesting. <laughs> All right. Um. Oh, please place myself on the battlefield. Good idea. It's the last battle as well. All right. Let's try. Let's try this weird race, and see and see what happens. Uh, so if I start it, I believe I can. Um... Wish the timer was a bit quicker. Okay, so I can I can control the camera, and I can also do. Where's names is left alt? There we go. All right, so it looks like Ghost of Spooky is in the lead. This looks like quite a boring track. I apologize. I've never done this before. Uh, uh, okay. There's three laps apparently of this. Ticker's in the lead now. I think we can follow Ticker. Yeah, there we go. Oh, 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 no. How exciting is this? <laughs> next next time we'll do one with actual, like, obstacles and drops and stuff. Can I zoom out? I can. Yeah, there we go. Are you still in first place? You are, Ticker. All right. Oh, I'm catching up, though. Am I now in... Okay, we've got, I think, one more lap. I don't know what this thing is here. Hang on. Oh, okay, there's, there's me. Ticker has the lead again. <laughs> oh, who is that? Throwmaster came out of nowhere. But I, I don't think it's going to be close. Yeah, ticker one. Throwmaster, close second. <laughs> I mean, it's fun, right? Well done, everybody. Okay. Yeah, I mean, we'll we'll do that again. Uh, I think you can upgrade and get like different colored marbles and stuff. So we'll 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 try some stuff. All right, let's go back to the screen. I figure just a bit different from uh, from Stream Raiders every now and then. 
Okay, so... Uh, enter your full name, Tiberius. Uh, my birthday, zero one. Actually, uh, hang on. Okay, November sixteenth, forty-two BC. Uh, I can't, I can't do forty-two BC, but I can at least do what was it, sixteenth? Let's just, let's just do forty-two there. Yeah, we'll pretend that's right. No, not forty-three, forty-two. And why, why did it do that? November. 16th, right? There we go. Save. Oh, my phone number. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> um. I mean, I guess I, I can't really ignore what, um, Angel said earlier about about the whole reflection stuff. So I guess we'll try. Um, if we do something like Presumably that's not in the source code. This is definitely not an easy box. I why do we why do we keep doing this? Uh, Forty nine. Uh, yeah. Okay. So, well, this means that this is SSTI. <sighs> so we can try and enumerate. Hang on, Tiberius. I think I have a page on this in my cheat sheets. Uh, I think I have it in my private one. Uh, but if we just go to SSTI payloads, all the things. Yeah, I don't know why this is marked as easy. SSTI is, is not exactly beginner material. All right, uh, identification. So there should be a way. I'm saying at the beginning, this is such a... Yeah, I mean, it was at the beginning, but once you get to this thing, this is just silly. All right, so we see dollar seven by seven times seven. Um, <coughs> actually, did that did seven times seven work? Oh. If I do this, will that work? Let's just do that. Come on. All right, I'm gonna do that. All right, that didn't work. So this did. So now if we try the same thing, but put quotes around the second one. Save all, we get seven sevens which means it's either jinga so ginger or twig um <laughs> i forget which one is ginger for um Ginger Python. I think Ginger's Python. Yeah, so Twig is PHP. So it's probably Ginger. 
Okay, so now if we go down to Ginger 2 here, we'll try this config.items thing. And there we go. <laughs> All right. So we can inject templates and get responses. So where is a uh, reverse shell? I'm just wondering if they have a reverse shell payload already, because we can easily do it. If not. Um, all right, let's try this. This is just RCE, so we should be able to... You know what, I can... Let's try... Tiberius. We'll search for it. Yeah. We're running as root. Okay. Alright. So what we're going to do is we're just going to paste it here and I'm going to search for the word Tiberius, which should bring us directly to this. Um. <laughs> Alright. Uh, so let's just... I mean, we can pretty much do any kind of reverse shell here. So let's... Let's just do one that we know works nicely. Um, rev shell gen uh, PA and we'll do this okay this one here and then we'll do NC <laughs> and in here we'll do that and that should be okay. I just need to command you all that. Okay. Uh, was that actually my IP address? Uh, oh, do I need to... I managed to do that first. I don't know, there is a rule. Okay. Interesting. Can we just get a connection back? Let's just see if we can even get a connection. Um, oops, sorry. Can't even get a connection back. Try another IP. Let's try another um, thing. Let's try 53. Uh, already in use, of course it is. Uh, I need to turn off DNS mask. Should be fine. Temporarily. NC. Oh, it's possible, of course, that NC doesn't exist. So actually, let's just do which NC. Okay. Um. Do an LS dash L. <laughs> okay. Uh. Is that actually a way of doing it then? Ah, here we go. Maybe not. Check with ping. I think the problem is it's I think it's only it's only excluding one thing. Uh, let me just 
Google it actually. Ginger 2 reverse shell. And I probably actually need to start DNS mask back up again. Reverse shell. <laughs> All right, so yeah, this is okay. I guess this is actually saying <laughs> we can. We can save a file. So let's actually try and curl our web server. Uh, firstly, let's just do curl. Oh. Why isn't this still working? Okay. And search for Tiberius. We get Tiberius, which is you do curl my web server, I believe you do get that. Yep. <laughs> okay, so we can do this. So all we need to do really is create a file on the web server. Uh, rev shell bin bash uh, rev shell gen. That is my IP address, 1446, yes, okay. Uh, oops. So we'll do this one here. And see if that works. And then all we need to do is curl rev shell into bash, hopefully. And we'll do 4444 four, four again. Did not work. But did our oops, access log. Okay, so curl did do it. I'm guessing it's not liking the um this stuff. So let's just let's just keep it simple again. Let's just do this. Okay. Uh, four 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 four. My IP address 10, 10, 14, 46. Okay. Try that. There we go. Just overthinking it. Um, but of course, there's no. Augustus. Okay, so we are running as root, but we don't have a root uh, .txt, which means we're probably in a Docker container. Uh, I'm going to mute this because I know it loves to freaking complain. <coughs> I'm going to say that was a medium at least. <coughs> Which I guess the ratings were correct then. <coughs> uh, so we do ls-l on, uh, sorry, ls-la on, yeah, we have a docker end here. <coughs> uh, and we're in the root group. Oops. Is anyone in the Docker group? No. Okay. I mean, because we can't do stuff like like doing stuff like sudo doesn't make any sense because we are all, we are already root. Backend, I think, was where we were. Yeah, where we were first, right? Uh, 
Uh, it might be worth just uploading uh, Limpies and running it. So what we'll do is we'll wget 10, 10, 14, 4, 6, per, oh, why is that not working? 10, 10, 14, 46, Prevesk, Limpies.sh, Chimod plus exit. Okay, close this crap. And then we'll do dash piece dot sh dash h just to make sure it works. Good. Then piece dot sh uh, dash q for not showing banner. We'll tear it all into limpies dot txt. You're already root. Yeah, I know. <laughs> But I'm wondering if it finds anything else. <laughs> Let's find Docker Proves Cat Tricks. As we all know, I'm not very good at Docker. So this is going to be interesting. I guess what we could. Oh. Um, no reason the Docker group. Okay. Um, I'm not sure if that's anything. I wonder if that's something. that now. Uh, <laughs> uh, check capabilities, yeah, hang on. I'll be down here somewhere. What we could do is just grab another shell while we're at it. Uh, well, this one's running that. Uh, how do you get capabilities again? Capabilities. I really do not use capabilities enough. <laughs> uh. There's a way of enumerating them, I thought. Search binary to capabilities. There we go. So let's try that. 
I guess not. <laughs> Alright, Docker Breakouts. Can we, can we at least, yeah, let's see if we can actually run Docker. Uh, Docker's not found. Alright. Docker breakout privilege escalation. Here we go. <laughs> Can't use Docker. I don't think if you have a box that uses Docker privilege escalation, it shouldn't be ranked as easy either, to be fair. Um. I guess we just can't, we can't do Sudo anyway, right? No. Sudo's not even found. Um. Oh, there's the bash history, I guess. Just this? There you go. My bash history is dev null. Is there anything in root? Bash history is dev null. Uh, I guess. We'll check opt anyway. I should have done dash. Nothing in opt. Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, Docker escaping is just, I mean, you can tell, it's just a ridiculous amount of stuff. <laughs> Privilege escape using release agent without known path. Did P's finish? Uh, no. It also didn't find much else. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's read up and see if we can at least figure this out. <laughs> Fdisk-l, let's try that. Can't do anything with Fdisk. Okay, so there's no mounting. Okay, this might work as well. Cap sh dash print might do something the other one didn't. Nope. Uh, Docker socket. Oh uh, yeah, we can try and find that. I, I'm aware of this particular one. Didn't find anything. <laughs> can't obviously use Docker images because we can't even run Docker. Ah. Uh, Unless I'd find just anything named Docker. No. Oh, hang on. Yeah, we just found Docker Emb again. Yeah.
VDK. I think we could try this. I've never actually used this before. Let's do this. Um, is there a build? Yeah. Uh, okay. Where's the download? Here we go. We we are sixty four bit, so we do want um, I'm blanking now. I don't want this one. Don't want this one. Don't want this one. This should work. I think. Save that. Okay, and then we will copy the file which was CDK to var dub dub, and then we'll download it and see if it even works. Um, I should probably go into temp. Uh, da, 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 CDK. Uh, yeah, if that work. Good. Chamod plus X, CDK. CDK dash H. Okay. I'll try to evaluate. And then we can. Oops. Okay, we'll leave that running while we do Stream Raiders. Uh, let's do that. Christy. We defeated the boss. Let's go back here, start a battle. <laughs> Gonna go this guy. Okay, and let's do a marble game. How do we sort it? We'll do a short one. There we go. Sea Venture. Race. Okay, everyone type uh, exclamation point play to play. So I will definitely play. This one looks fun. Look at this. On. All right, a few more minutes. Well, a few more seconds, I guess. All right, let's go. We got we got way more people this time. Uh, there we go. Countdown. Let's just do a one second countdown. It didn't. It didn't do it. Sorry, <laughs> I messed up. <laughs> I'll try and I'll try and do that better. Okay, where are you? All? Okay, we need. What uh, left alt is the names? Okay, so. Um, 
create ideas in first place so far. Oh, maybe not. Nope. Green bacon. Oh, this is fun. Oh. Yeah, this has multiple different routes. This is clearly quite a slow one. <laughs> What's happening? We're, we're playing marbles. And Shamaran1 is currently in the lead. Oh, he's picking up some speed. Oh, no, hang on. Green Bacon just took the lead again. Oh, apparently, apparently I did as well. Nope. Christy. Who won? Green Bacon? I think Green Bacon's in the lead again. <laughs> but now I think, yep. Uh, Melon is... I don't know where the ending is. I think this is the ending. I think Melon won. Kind of fun. <laughs> Christy, I think. Christy made it. I think, I think... Oh, wow. <laughs> this is good. I think we may have to end the game. Because <laughs> that's taking way too long. Sorry about that. Alright, well done. We'll do that again at some point. But, go back to the screen. Uh, we did find some stuff, I guess. Um. <laughs> I guess this... Maybe? So let's actually see what... Uh... List all available exploits, maybe? Oh, hang on a minute. Mounts. Usage example. Right, there we go. Okay. Exploit mount procfs. Alright, some sensitive such as... Uh, okay, so... So I honestly don't think... That just means that this... Home Augustus is mounted on the host? But... I don't know what we do with that. Um, anyone have a clue? Check the networks. Yeah, so you think maybe if there's SSH enabled somewhere? Guess they're an SSH. Okay, so can we SSH to... Uh, maybe 
dot two. Okay, <coughs> that worked. <coughs> so we just need to run. Okay, I get it. Python three. Uh, dash C import PTY. PTY. Yeah, this is definitely not easy. I'm sorry. So I think I understand what's going on. I think um, our IP address is 172.19.0.2. The host's IP address, because we're a Docker container, is 0 0.1. <laughs> I think we can then... Let's just check if we can SSH into this. Yes. Okay, yeah. So what we can do now, because... Let's try and explain it. Um, we, we know from our information gathering here, this CDK, uh, that the slash home slash Augustus is mounted from the actual host. Which means we can just write a .ssh directory there, I think. So if we do .ssh, and cd into that, and then if we just generate... Uh, actually, if we... SSH keygen, maybe? Yeah, okay. SSH keygen dash H. We're going to go to home <laughs> Augustus dot SSH slash ID underscore RSA with no passphrase. And we're going to own Augustus. Both of these. Uh, what? Oh, we can't. I wonder if this will even work then, but let's try it. Augustus, hang on, dash. <laughs> oh, yeah, maybe the other password. Let's just try this though. Um, Home Augustus SSH slash ID RSA Augustus at uh, this one. Yeah, okay. What was the other password? <coughs> Super administrator, maybe? Um, Okay, there we go. Yeah, that was it. All right, so now we're actually we're actually on the main host. <laughs> so we need to get to root. Um, unless we can just look in root. No. Uh, okay. What are we running? We are running Bash, but Sudo isn't, which is odd. So let's just do our usual SUID stuff. Let's do this one. You're right, I didn't create an authorized keys file, did I? I'm sorry, this box has just been going on for too long. Yeah, that it might have worked, I don't know. <coughs> it might it might not have because uh, the files were owned by root. <coughs> but they're still owned by root. Ooh, I wonder. Let's exit. I doubt this is how we do it. Ah, uh, sorry, Chumad. But if it is... Ah, <laughs> uh, do I SSH again? Where's my SSH? I still want to write out the entire freaking thing again. 
SSH, uh, super admin password, right? Oh, super administrator, sorry. I mean, maybe. Uh, okay. <laughs> so it's a different. This is definitely weird, though, right? Can we copy? Can we copy SH? Shamod, uh, sorry. Plus S S H. I'm gonna move S H to root S H. Just double check we still have that. Again, SSH Augustus and copy that. Oops, dot slash. Yeah, that worked. Hmm. I'm not entirely sure if that's how we're supposed to do it. submit flag I mean again probably a little trickier than medium it's a bit hard uh, let's read a write-up official walk the box sorry hack the box write-up let's just see Privilege escalation. Okay, so you could use mount to figure that out. Um, okay, blah, blah, blah. We kind of skipped all this. We kind of just guessed. <laughs> okay, we got to Augustus. Yeah, okay, we did do it the right way. It only bin bash didn't work for us. We got a weird error. <laughs> that was the way, though. Nice to know. All right. Stop the machine. Uh, it looked like, so why, why did SH work and bash didn't? It just looked like it was a library error. Error while loading shared libraries. Cannot share, cannot open shared object file. Um, I don't quite know why that is, but I'm not going to knock it. Um, oh, you know what we could, yeah, you know what we could have done? When we were connected as Augustus, we could have copied bin bash into the, our directory. Then we could have SSH, uh, sorry, then we could have exited the SSH and owned it to root and shamodded it on the docker image then gone back into ssh and run it that would have worked better i wasn't thinking all good though all right we at least did that one which is definitely a medium not a hard uh, sorry not an easy so let's go to try hack me and search for something Uh, challenges. There's no freaking way to search by operating system, is there? <laughs> uh, we're gonna do easy. High completed. Okay. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, tight windows. Alright, well there's only a few to be honest with you. 
we've tr I think we've done this on the stream before. I'm not sure why it's not completed. Maybe we didn't complete the entire thing. Yeah, we didn't get system. I believe I think it was an Active Directory box, and uh, I'm not sure my Bloodhound was working. This is forensic, so we're going to avoid that. Blueprint. <laughs> and Anthem. We haven't done... Alright. I'll do it between Blueprint and Anthem. Let's see. Because people wanted a Windows box, so let's try... Which room? Blueprint, Anthem. Uh, yeah. Alright, there you go. I think in future, on Cyber Mentoring Mondays, if we do hack the box, <laughs> we will sort by user difficulty. I think <laughs> status. Okay, we'll do that next time. Cause these these boxes here have more way more green than than orange. So I think these are probably actually easy boxes. We'll see. Boop. Yeah, I should have I should have known when <laughs> when that one came up as uh um, more medium, I guess. Well, I do want to know because we did kind of, we did kind of, I guess, accidentally cheat because, oh my god, there's a freaking tie. All right. <laughs> because uh, Angel D suggested SSTI, which I take it he meant. Hey, I think he'd, he'd done the box before, I'm not sure. But either way, I would have been interested to see how we actually found that on our own, whether there was a clue somewhere. Because SSDI isn't something you just look for immediately. Um, <laughs> who said... Which one was good? Blueprint was pretty cool. Lab user until all I'm ash. Let's I and mean, I feel like this one uses web app stuff. So okay, we'll we'll tr let's try this one. I don't know if it's gonna be any good or not. Start the machine. I can close all this stuff. Alright. <laughs> Why not both? Uh, we'll see. We'll see time constraints and everything. Um, what I will do is I will move results, good games, into... I shall save first. Into good games. Games. I 
Nice. Okay. Okay, so... Going to try Hackney. Tiberius. Track me, this is blueprint. CD into blueprint. Remember to do that. Um, it did say it might take around three to four minutes for the machine to boot, so we will wait. And in the meantime, edit the hosts file. And we will do that. Anthem dot try hack me. Oh, sorry, blueprint. Forget which box we're doing. Okay. <coughs> what a recon. Blueprint or try All right. Are there any questions about the last box, by the way? We kind of like left it quick. I know it was definitely, um, definitely not an easy. Um, let me edit the subject. <coughs> All right. <coughs> we'll wait until this gets to one hour fifty-five. So a minute and a half. Um, just to give it five minutes to boot, should be good. Let's quit this. Thank you, Jojo sixty six, for the follow. That's from. <laughs> Try hack me. Blueprint. Here we go. Oh, sorry. Two minutes. While I am here, I guess I will tell, I'll let you know. Like I said uh, on Friday, I'm doing a cybersecurity themed um, uh, family feud on Friday, which I should be streaming. Um, so that should be fun. If you, yeah, so you'll, you'll be able to watch the people at the conference participate. But it should be should be quite funny, I think. Uh, I know Al Hazred will be there. Um, I'm not actually sure who else in the streaming community. Uh, Footpicks will be there. Helen of Tor. Um, I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm not sure, really sure who else from streaming is going. Should be a good crowd, though. All right, let's let's do this. <laughs> All of my streams are fun. This should be this should be quite a lot of. Um, I don't know. It's uh, it's Family Feud Cybersecurity Edition, and it's literally just it's powered by 154, I think, of my Twitter followers. So the answers are going to be quite entertaining, I think, at least in, in some respects. I think it's going to be quite amusing to see people try and guess. Okay, we there's definitely a Windows box. We know that because one four three one three nine. Sorry, one three five one three nine four four five three zero six. Probably. Um, but there is 
a web server. So let's go onto the web server. Okay, there looked like 8080 might be a web server as well. Whoops, why isn't it typing ever? I feel like I, I feel like this is very familiar to me and I'm not entirely sure if I can say why. I might, let, let me just, let's just say, I, I, I think this is a very similar to a box I did once in a private environment, which I'm not entirely sure if they've made public yet. So this would be interesting if this is that. Um, <laughs> however, Let's go to exploit DB and search for our oh, commerce. Uh, let's do the multiple vulnerabilities one because it's the only one that's technically two, three, four. Reflected uh, SSS is not. Can't be any good for us. Persistent XSS again. Um, <coughs> RCE via CSRF, yeah, it's not going to be useful. All right, let's try. Okay, maybe not that one. Remote code execution, let's see. If an app does not move, remove the install directory. Is it impossible for an it's possible for an elephant to take Unauthenticated attacker to reinstall the page. <laughs> um, let's try it. So it'd be catalog slash install. Uh, oops. Come on. What was the battle already? I feel like it's not notifying me when the battle's ready anymore. Which is annoying. Will this work? Alright, let's do the battle. Uh, stream readers.
Okay, well done. Well done, Christine Science One. Let's go back to the map. Um, <coughs> so it would go the middle path this time. And I'm gonna use a musketeer. Okay. Uh, let's try another game of marbles. Um, <coughs> average time. Few will survive. Probably not the best idea. Um, enemy at the gates, sure. Alright. Everyone type exclamation point play to play. Oh, this one's got an intro. Um, okay, sorry, everyone type it again if you typed it before. <laughs> I guess I, I said it too early. <laughs> Alright, let's do... Countdown of three? Why won't it do it? Alright, we'll um, give people a few more seconds to join. Okay, I guess the countdown has to be 10 seconds, I'm sorry. All right, let's do this. Uh, I'll try and edit that at some point. I'm not entirely sure what I can do, but... Everyone's in. Okay. My goodness. If this is too loud, please let me know. Oh, I don't know what I did there. Alright, looks like just a guy is in the lead. Going through this weird thing. Let's follow just a guy. Oh, no, sorry. Looks like Harry Owen. You're gonna have to tell me if this is way too loud because it, it sounds loud to me. Well, Harry Owen is still in the lead, but. Oh, no. Fair master is behind. A lot of people are dying, I think. Oh, wait a minute. Just a guy is, I guess, skipped past a bit? Yep, just a guy is in the lead again. I don't know who's in the lead right now. I think heroin. Well, heroin has basically stopped. I don't know. There she goes again. Fro Master gave her a bump. Oh, she's just go she's going all the way through. Look, I'm not even sure if it's a girl or not. Sorry, she won. Heroin just sounds sounds like a um, a girl's name to me. Well, it's like heroin, as in not the drug. <laughs> all right, well then. <laughs> cool. All right, let's go back to the screen. Uh, back to the race. Okay. <laughs> yeah, heroin, not heroin. Um, what was that? So, Jodo Six Six. This is it's a it's a new game we're playing. It's called Marbles on Stream. You it basically you just when the game starts you type exclamation point play to join and then it it gives you a random marble and. <laughs> It's basically just dumb luck, but it's it seems to uh, it seems to be kind of uh, interesting anyway. Um, Slayer Darth, why does your accent sound so confused? What is what do you mean by it sounds so confused? Um, <coughs> I don't think you can control them for a master. 
Um, by the way, this this install page eventually loaded, so we can't actually use this, I believe. So let's grab. I don't know if you're British or something else. I I I'm technically both British and American. Um, I, I live in the U.S. I'm a U.S. citizen, but I was born in the U.K. All right, so let's download this exploit. Um, we'll go try hack me blueprint uh, exploit. There we go. All right. Um, PHP developer, nice one. How are you? Welcome to the stream. Uh, Blueprints. Exploit. No doubt you've seen a lot of security pools. Yes, I have. Five and three, four, four. Okay, let's see if there's a help menu. It does not. So we'll just read what it needs. Okay, we, we need to edit the... Right. We actually need to edit the URL here. So... Let's, uh, oops, let's firm this. Okay. So it does need a trailing slash for the catalog. And then looks like we just remove all of this. That looks good. System LS, okay. Um, sure, let's, I mean, let's just try that. Python. <laughs> Problem is this might take a while because the, the install page took quite a while to load last time. <laughs> um, meanwhile, Do we find anything else in Blueprint? Uh, maybe on 88? Uh, we got our best commerce. Yep. Alright. Uh, still. Well, there's some PHP security flaws those who use PHP as a server-side scripting language need to be more aware of. Um, that's a good question. I think um, PHP's type, type juggling. Uh, successfully launched X. Okay, so let's try this. I don't know why this is so slow. Yeah, so if you look into PHP type, I think it's PHP type joking. Yeah. Um, there's some good. Um, Basically, a lot of people use double equals because most programming languages use double equals to um, ascertain if one value equals another. Uh, the problem is with PHP, several values can equal each other even though they clearly aren't equals. Um, like the number zero equals the string admin password, which makes no freaking sense. So PHP has this triple equals sign because of that. <laughs> uh, where is it? Yeah, triple equals, there we go. At least there's some interesting stuff though. Okay, uh, system has been disabled. All right, so we did get somewhere. Um, so the, I guess the question is, can we modify this exploit? Um, Let's do. 
Um, shell exec underscore get cmd and we'll do echo. Alright, let's rerun it and see if it does that. Ah, uh, sorry, Python for area. Yeah, so there were some other ones here. Oh, there's another remote code execution, actually. I didn't see that one. Interesting. All right. Okay, that worked a little. Let's do this. Seem to be going a little faster. I wonder if it's because my. The Durbuster's running still? Um, you know, I don't think we need to do vhost enumeration, so let's do ps and grep for ffuf. <coughs> and we'll kill this process. Kill this night. That should at least end, I think. Uh, I did not. Kill dash nine. This one. Okay, I think that that definitely killed it. Yes. All right, that might speed up a little bit. I think we can just do it from here, to be honest. Why dash nine? Um, good question. We do man kill. Um, kill dash nine is pretty much so you you can kill process in different ways. But um, you can like ask nicely. Uh, dash nine is basically forcibly doing it. So you, there's yeah, there's three there's three signals: sig kill kill and dash nine. Um, and as far as I'm aware, the pre pretty much dash nine is just like the ultimate kill. Uh, <laughs> okay, here we go. Uh, let's try cmd equals id. Send. So what I did was I edited this to just do shell exec on whatever the CMD parameter is. Um, use of undefined constant. <laughs> All right, so I may have to I may have to escape these and redo it. I thought so sometimes it does work. With that though, uh, right, get rid of that. All right, we'll see. Okay, that worked. Uh, send again. Hopefully, this works now. It did, but it's not. It's not giving me back any code execution. Interesting. Um, let's try pass through. At least it's being a bit quicker when I disabled that um, thing. If not, we can generate a payload with MSF Venom. Yeah, it's not liking. Oh, hang on, unterminated comment. No, that should be fine. Let's just try something very quick. PHP info. This should at least prove that it's possible. Yeah, okay. That's 
we can definitely get some form of at least PHP code injection. So, <laughs> um, let's do MSF Venom list payloads, grep um, PHP. Uh, hang on, let's just miss that. So there is a, there's a nice NSF Venom payload um, for, <coughs> I think PHP exec. Uh, so we'll do this. And if it works the way the reverse shell does, it tries every single way. Hang on, command equals ID. It tries all the different ways to execute. <laughs> yes, yeah, so you pass through it uses proc open. Uh, so let's try this. Okay, set that there. And shove that in there. Obviously, we need to now escape all these um, uh, single quotes, which I should be able to do quite quickly. And if this works as a proof of concept, we at least know that's good. Uh, I think I went one too far. Yeah. Okay, let's try that. Maybe it'll work. Uh, whoops. Wrong one. So this one, it's just it should just run the ID command anyway. That's really annoying. <laughs> so it's possible that they've just disabled all operating system, <laughs> all ways to run stuff on an operating system, which should be really annoying. Oh, actually, wait a minute. No, I mean, it, it's not going to print them. Okay, where's... My bad. <laughs> so actually, we should, we should do a shell. Let's do this instead. So what was happening there, I think, is it wouldn't work because um, <laughs> it wasn't echoing back the result. It was just running it. Um, 10.13.2.135. L port equals 4444. Let's try that. Uh, we can do an NC, grab this, uh, all the way to there. I am going to, instead, I'm just going to yeah, I'm going to replace, replace all of these, and then we'll put it back into the payload here. Okay. 
I th think that should work. We'll see. Nope. Because... No, what am I doing? I know what I can do. I can take all those back. I can just do a multi-line string in Python. Yeah, there we go. That that will work much better. <laughs> okay, instead of escaping random stuff, we'll do that. Okay, so we have our listener, and we can we just have to go to configure. We don't have to do any of this nonsense, and hopefully. It doesn't look like it. Oh no, there we go. <laughs> just just as I said that. There we go. Um, oh, of course. It's a Windows box. Come on. Oh, we're a system. Okay. That might be the easiest box ever. Um... Why am I doing LS? I need to do DIR. Okay, we'll CD into C slash DIR. Okay, CD into users. Um, why don't we do DIR lab? DIR lab slash desktop. Oh, okay. Just trying to find the flag. Desktop of the admin, maybe? Okay, yeah. Well, the root flag is there. So, administrator slash desktop slash root dot txt dot txt is this one um okay lab user ntlm hash decrypted okay so let's cd into the lab user I guess we'll type this, enable UAC.bat, and I don't know what. <laughs> I wonder if it wants us to, um, hang on a minute. Are you a hacker? Can you find me one of Facebook's password? No, and if you're a spammer, then please go away. Otherwise, I will ban you. Uh, I wonder if we're supposed to use Mimikatz? Possibly. Do I even have mini cats on here? Um, is it in Winbin? No, is it in Privesk? No, I may be able to download it. Um, actually, I should just be able to grab. You just use the um, interpreter. Let's have Venom. List payloads. Grep. Interpreter. Grep. Um, I assume it's an x64 system. Oh, why did... Why did it die? Please don't die. Um, system info should give us the info, but it's bound to be 
If it's Windows, actually if it's Windows 7, it could be 32-bit. So we'll do this first. Just see what we have. Assuming system info isn't going to work very well. Uh, we've got the box expiring. I'm not entirely sure this is going to work, so let me just rerun. Get a shell again. Interpreter reverse TCP, I think, should be fine. Let's try that. F exe dash o interpreter dot exe. <coughs> what are we doing? Yeah, so we're doing blueprint. We found this OS Commerce <coughs> website where the installer is still there, which meant we could exploit this remote code execution. And we uploaded a reverse shell, um, which I can do. Let me just, yeah, okay. Um, we got the reverse shell. We are running a system, but one of the tasks is to grab, grab the lab user's NTLM hash. So we're trying to, we're going to use um, the interpreter to dump the um, LSAS. At least, hopefully, we are. <laughs> Actually, I should just be able to use copy. Let me go into var. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, SMB server. <laughs> okay. Um, we will cd into c slash users. Come on. Administrator. Dir. And we'll copy, um, yeah, 10, 13, 2, 1, 3, 5, Cali interpreter to here. There we go. Do an NC four 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 again. One file copied. We do dir again. It should be here. It is. We do start slash b interpreter. We should get a connection. We do. Although maybe that shouldn't. Hang on. I may have done that wrong. Is that going to be... Interpreter show? I may need to actually go into MSF Venom. So let me just do that. Sorry, it says console. <coughs> and I'm going to use this. Use uh, multi handler set payload to that set l host equals ton zero set uh, what? <coughs> okay so l host equals ten thirteen dot two dot one three five 
Oh, wait. I just do that. Shows how long it's been since I've used this. Um, let's run. And we'll run it again. And then we'll do another stream raiders and race. Start slash D. Okay, help. Hash dump. There we go. Uh, the NTLM hash is this. Lab user. We can quit this because we no longer use it. Uh, go into loot. Lab dot NTLM. And then we can do John and lab.ntlm. And it's probably going to ask us. Uh, NT, I think, is the format for this then. If we can just just a uh, crack station. Does it do NTLM? Yes. Okay, we'll just do crack station. Google Plus. There we go. All right, let's do stream readers. That was a nice easy box, I definitely think. So there we go, that's good. Um, open salvage. Oh, we lost. Damn, okay. Uh, maybe we won't do another battle actually. Let me just double check something. We are coming up to the three hour mark, so I may call it a day. Um, yeah, I think we'll call it a day. Why don't we do one more race though, with the marbles, and then we'll go raid somebody. All right, where is a nice short one? Elite to remember, we'll do that. Okay. Can I just skip this? I can. Okay, everyone, exclamation point play to play. <laughs> and then we'll do this. We'll find someone to raid. Actually, I'll look up that now while everyone starts. few people. Sec IT guys online, I'm not sure what he's doing. Okay, last chance to type play to join. We've got five people. I should start doing giveaways or something for the winners. Alright, let's go. Uh, 
Can't even tell who's in the lead. Unemployments. Yeah, I can't really tell if... Oh, there we go. Wow, that is a big... <laughs> I think a lot of people are losing. I somehow made it. Sorry to a bitter eight died. That's uh oh hang on, unemployments Unemployments you died as well. Where's everyone else? Way behind. <laughs> if there's another jump though, this might this might be the end of my marble. We'll see. Definitely sounds way too loud. Oh, all right. I made it. Did anyone else? Who's in second place? Eisenberg made it as well. Is Compendium going to? We shall see. Hooray! <laughs> Come on, you lazy boy. Yeah, exactly. All right, well done, everybody. <laughs> All right, let's uh, get my outro. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining me on Cyber Mentoring Monday. Uh, let's raid Sakai T guy. I don't think we've done him before. Uh, oh, this. Follow all subscriber only. Okay, then in that case, we will raid J Beers. You already have a raid in progress. Cancel that raid. Okay, there we go. We'll raid J Beers. All right, everybody on the stream, you'll see, on the screen, you'll see my Twitter, my Discord, my YouTube, and obviously. You might be watching me on Twitch right now, unless you're watching the recording on YouTube. But if you are watching me on Twitch, please give me a follow. And yeah, I will see you later this week uh, at some point for another stream. But let's go ahead and raid JBiz. Alright, thanks everyone.